Uh, this is the visitor centre, just to try and get bearings on the battlefield. So, I'm at the visitor centre there. The battlefield is in front of me. And if I turn it upside down, so it tallies with what I'll be looking at. So, visitor centre. Behind me is Frederick. So, the Confederates were attacking in this direction. And uh, that road there leads to the road crossing and there's in the valley that you can't see is the railway crossing as well. So this is where the uh, sparring took place initially. So the Confederates, there's some guns sat here, uh, were firing across to that side. Uh, that's the Worthington farm over there. Zoom in a bit. So again that's on the uh, north side of the river. Um, and this is the start point of the tour. So on the Confederate side and I'm attacking south. Actually here's a little diagram of the battle begins. So Confederates are there. I'm standing down here. That's the road over there. So the Confederates were attacking to bridges on the Union forces are on the other side which you can't see up there. Now, I don't normally film memorials but this one's quite a nice one. Um, it's the New Jersey Memorial uh, dedicated over 100 years ago to the uh, Union forces that defended uh, were defeated but they defended Washington by not allowing the Confederates to advance here. I'm at the Thompson Farm, which uh, is labelled the final attack. So, here's the farm. Oops, trying to get out of the sun. With the Union facing the Confederates. So, that's the farm there. So, the Confederates are coming straight at me here. Um, the bat battle apparently went backwards and forwards through this piece of land until the afternoon when the the uh, Union's forces went back that way. But in holding this position, which is slightly higher than the area over there, um, they delayed the uh, Confederates going towards Washington. So, um, a victory of sorts. My apologies for the mower in the background. This is uh, Worthington Farm. That's the house. So the Confederates crossed a ford over the river, which is down through the trees there at the bottom of this hill, and headed towards me. And this is where the Federal Union forces were. So this is one of the significant battlefields. Uh, as you can see, um, there's a bit of height here, which would have been very, very useful. Um, so the battlefield, sorry, the battle went to and fro from this point. Um, so all the Confederates pushed the Federal Union forces back. But by then it was too late. As I filmed this, um, Hurricane Harvey or Tropical Storm Harvey is still over Houston and Louisiana. Um, and yesterday we had loads of rain up here around Baltimore. So much so that even the tree is full of water. You can see that? That stick is floating. So that is filled up with water. Circus, but this is. Gambrill Mill. So this is where the Union troops retreated to from Worthington Farm. Um, and on the pathway ahead, apparently, you get to see the bridges. That's a better view of the, what is now the road bridge. That would have been the wooden bridge. Spin around and there's the railway bridge. So that was the last means of uh, escape for the Union troops as they were, the wooden bridge was burnt 
that was the only way off this part of um, the battlefield. In fact, the guy who led the soldiers defending the bridges, um, I've forgotten his title, but it's Davis, surname is Davis, he won the Medal of Honor for holding this position against superior numbers and delaying the advancing uh, Confederates. This is my final clip from uh, the Battle of Monica Sea. So it's the Worthington Farm, so the um, Confederates were attacking towards me through the farm um, and in that direction. Um, one of the things I wanted to say is the number of memorials here. Considering, well, it wasn't a massive battle, but it was a significant battle. So there's a memorial there to the 10th Vermont Infantry. There's one over there to Pennsylvania Voluntary um, Division. Um, and I've seen at least two others. But there's not many memorials considering how important this battle was, which is a shame. Uh, is it worth visiting? Yeah. If you're coming through on the way to uh, Antietam, Gettysburg, it's probably worth an hour or two. The visitor centre's alright.